This is going to be an update to the video I shot earlier on the carburetor on this uh, Briggs & Stratton powered Sears snowblower Craftsman two-stage. What's going on with it is it would run for maybe about a minute or two and it would stall out after I got it running. Like I said, when you're working on something for somebody else, not your own, always let it run. You know, 20 minutes, put it under a load. Um, so I pulled the car back off. These are what I'm using, guys. To, I use Neil Nose Vice Grips to pinch the fuel line so I don't have to drain the tank every time. Work really good. So, it's an 8.5 horse Briggs. I told you guys earlier in the video. Here's the carb. There's a couple issues going on with it, and I think we're going to get it this time. I hope. Needle and seat are going to be one thing. So, again, what it's doing is it's running for, say, 30 seconds to a minute, and it's running itself out of fuel. And I'll show you in a minute why. And then this elbow was cracked here. A lot of times people just order a new car, but you can replace these. So here's your part numbers here. These are your Briggs part numbers for these two pieces. You can buy whatever parts you want, but those are the numbers you're going to want to look up. And it might supersede or cross-reference. Uh, mine cross-referenced. Uh, this is what I got here after market. Okay, that being said, let me show you. Get my little, I got my small tripod, so bear with me for a minute. On this carb here, this fuel intake was cracked right here. So what I like to do, when they're cracked, they're easy to get off. I've already had this one out. I'll pull this off with pliers, and I'll work this back and forth like this. You can clamp this in your vise like this, but I don't want to tear up these gaskets. And I'll work that out of there, get that brass out of there. Now, needle and seat. I kind of already tore this seat up a little bit, so even if you guys can see it, it's where your needle goes and your carb down here. I think you guys can see it. What I think it is, is it swelled up on me. So I have my needle and seat tool right here. It's actually a Tecumseh tool. So what I do, what I believe is it, is it, I don't know if it was from ultrasonic cleaning it or what, but it swelled up and it was limiting the gas and the gas flow into the carburetor when the float was open couldn't keep up with what the machine was demanding. So this is how you get this out. Take this tool, stick it in there, you pull your seat out. See your little seat? There's a difference on the direction on these. I know there used to be. Yep. On the bottom of these, you'll see the side that's going to go towards the carburetor is going to be that ring side. It's got that little indent right here. That side's going to face in, going towards your carburetor. The flat perfect side is going to be this side here is going to go to your needle. Let me get this open. I'll show you how I put that needle and seat in. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how I put that other piece in. That open like that. Dump your needle and seat out. Watch out, seats are small. Okay, take this tool. Make sure you're putting this in in the right direction. Take your carb. You need to stick it in. And then you make sure it seats down in there. You can feel it. Make sure it's nice and flat. Now, see this one? It didn't take all the way flat you really got to make sure it's in there flat and all the way to the bottom because it will not seal okay guys I got that seated in there nice and properly it took a little bit I had to make sure that it's in there right sometimes I use this little magnifying glass to look down in there to make sure it's sitting flush now put your needle on your float like so just like this, set your needle in there, put your float pin in, just like this. Now we'll test it, I'll blow into it as soon as I get this in. So what you're going to do to put this piece in is you're going to get it in the position that you want it, the orientation. So what I'll do to get this fuel fitting in here. Is I'll take and find a spot on my vise where I know it won't damage the carb and I'll gently close it in. I'll put the fuel fitting just like that. You got to make sure it's going in even. This could take a couple tries. 
just like that and make sure it's not screwing up where your bowl seats just run it in until it stops you don't want to crack the new fitting obviously make sure it's all the way in That's it guys, that's all it's to it. Now I'll take and I'll blow into here. And I'll lift my float up and down and I can tell my float ceiling. So with that being said, now you tested it. Now you know your float ceiling. Get your bowl, make sure your bowl's nice and clean. Get your float bowl back on. Your needle or your uh, float bowl nut. The gasket is ripped on this. I have a new one coming. I'm just putting this together tonight to see if it'll run. It'll take me two seconds to replace that gasket when it's on the machine. All I want to do is see if this thing will run. There you go. Get your half inch socket or your half inch open end. Get your half inch. Tighten that up. And check it again if you want you could blow into here flip your carb upside down no air goes through boom you know you got your needle and seat in there right i'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the machine i'm gonna do it while we're off camera and let's see if this time it fixes the issue all right guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire this thing up and i'm gonna let it run for at least a good 15 minutes to 20 minutes and then I'll get the camera rolling again and let you know if this worked or not if this didn't work this thing's obviously got some other type of damage in the carburetor and it's no good There you have it. That fixed it. So that was about 10 or 15 bucks in parts, if I recall right. Uh, you might need a seat tool. There's other ways to get them out. You can go on YouTube and look them up. But I like to use the proper tool for doing that. So uh, one thing I wanted to go over with the generator, with the snow blowers, with the lawnmowers, all that stuff. If you guys run these things out of gas in the fall or winter or spring, whenever you're putting these away, or your generator when your power goes out at least shut the fuel off and run the carb bowl dry and then drain your tanks out your snow blower siphon the gas out of the tank or use uh, a lot of them have on the uh, carburetor bowlers a drain where you can drain them get all the fuel out of them you know that's what causes a lot of these problems so you know it everybody does what they want to do so if you want to have trouble with it go ahead and leave it the way it is or you could run rec fuel and that would help too the ethanol is a real problem with these but that's it guys for that one i got this mower here taken apart it's a toro i want to do just a one minute clip it's a really easy fix it's a super awesome one and then i got this snow blower over here right here this thing is bending the weeds so we'll eventually get to doing that too so sorry guys i'm trying to keep the videos coming along it's hard i'm working on the boat i'm working a lot of hours you know it's just life throws stuff at you so but uh, I'm going to continue to put the videos up and uh, guys let me know what you think and give, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you can. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you.